Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you back. Today I'm going to be talking about the five towns and city that you guys have to visit if you're going to Ghana. Give you guys a bit of juice on where to visit, the places to go and see, and yeah, just hopefully this video gives you a bit of insight. Jamestown slash Usher Town. So Jamestown is a neighborhood in Accra. It is one of the oldest districts dating back to the Dutch and British colonization times. So when the Dutch were colonizing Ghana and the British were doing the same, Jamestown was created out of that era. It's east of Kwame Nkrumah Avenue and south of the Gulf of Guinea. It's primarily Ghar people that live there. The Ghar language is spoken there. It's known for its fishing, its harbour. It's also known for the Chale Water Festival. It's a festival just showcasing Ghanaian arts, Ghanaian fashion. They also have Makola Market there, which is a bustling market, just live and just vibrant. So you guys have to visit Jamestown. One thing I love, 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 love about Jamestown, it's just an amazing place to go. When you see it, you just know like this is the place to be the markets the old buildings and just the streets like when you're on the street it's just a vibe cape coast so cape coast is a city in ghana and the capital of the central region cape coast is known for its role in the slave trade of course it obviously overlooks the gulf of guinea which is like the arm of the atlantic ocean cape coast is known for cape coast castle the british used as a hoarding prison for slaves and it was built by the swedish as well as there being the castle, it's also a actual town. And I think the whole town pretty much is, is just mesmerizing and moving. I think you can't go there without having a bit of a cry and a sniffle because it's just emotional and overwhelming feeling when you go there and you see the coastline. Cape Coast is definitely somewhere you need to visit. Um, they do tours there, they do tours of the castle and the surrounding areas. It's not that far from Accra and I definitely suggest you guys go and visit if you visit Ghana. Tema. So Tema is actually the Atlantic coast of Ghana. You can literally see like the coast, like it never ends. It's just amazing and just beautiful. So many activities to do there. There's even restaurants on the beach, which is amazing. There's like these huts that you can go to. I know this is so odd, but you can ride horses on the beach and obviously you pay but you can when you pay you can get a picture taken as well um there's so much to do like there's activities on the beach um across the road there's so much street markets and street shops and street food and it's just a vibe going to Tamar. Tamar is east of Accra and lies along the Gulf of Guinea and it's Ghana's biggest seaport and its nickname is actually Harbour City if you guys didn't know there's restaurants um nightlife just everything so you guys should definitely definitely go and visit Tema if you go to Ghana also guys i'm so sorry but if you haven't been to Osu, you're missing out if you're going to Ghana this year next year whenever the first stop has to be Osu. Osu is a neighborhood slash suburb in Accra it's known for its commercial restaurants when you drive through Osu at night you literally see the lights like sparkling and it's just a city, a, a town that never sleeps pretty much. It's dynamic and it's one of the biggest cultural hotspots in Accra. There's restaurants, cafes, casinos, no matter where you go in Ghana, there's always going to be street food, let's get that right. Osu is also known for the Ghar, the Ghar population. If you walk past someone, they're 9 out of 10 going to be speaking Ghar. Osu is also known for its Oxford Street. There's nothing like the Oxford Street in London but it is quite something. Oxford Street is like a long street that kind of runs through Osu. On one side, street food, street market. And then on the other side, it's like offices. Of course, you've got Osu Castle, which was a fortress. So it was basically what the British used when they were in power. It was built by the Danish. Um, it was used for um, military power. Whoever was like president at the time or whoever had the kind of like power over the, the, that area basically used Ossel Castle and it used to be called Fortress Christianburg. 
but it's kind of similar to Cape Coast Castle in that it has that um, that significant historical importance. Those are definitely places that you should definitely, definitely go and visit. So the fifth place and the last place that you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely go and visit is Elimina. Elimina, the dominant language spoken there is Fante. And the name Elimina actually comes from the Portuguese word for mine. I would actually search this up. Mine is in mining gold. It's a town in Ghana known for its fishing ports, its beaches, important role in the slave trade. The Elimina Castle was built by the Portuguese and it was simply the hub and the base for trading slaves, gold and ivory. Elimina Castle was also used by the Dutch to recruit Africans into the Dutch army. So we love to go on about how Britain colonized the hell out of Africa but the Dutch also had a huge importance to play and it's actually quite crazy because they were all up in Ghana. So the Dutch actually used Elimina Castle to try to recruit Ghanaians primarily and Africans into their Dutch army. There's obviously Elimina Castle that you can go and visit which once again is sort of similar to Cape Coast Castle. In Elimina which is a fun fact that a lot of people don't know there's actually a fort right opposite or a castle right opposite called Fort, fort Saint Jago that also has the name of Sao Tiago which is Portuguese name for the castle and it was built, built by the Portuguese to protect Elimina Castle from attacks. I definitely recommend you guys go there. Leave a comment if you've been to any of these places. Leave a comment if you are bound for Ghana in this year, next year. Leave a comment if you want me to make any other videos relating to Ghana. I definitely, definitely, definitely hope you guys love this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do the video up, share, help me share. Help me get to 200 subscribers, guys. So please help me get there. Um, thank you.